What's happening, everyone? Noah back here with another YouTube video here today, bringing you all some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. Once again, today we are going to be on the Season 13 beta test server for the game, and we are going to be showing off a new attachment coming to the Razorback submachine gun. This is a weapon that a lot of people don't really talk about, which is kind of strange because this season it did receive a buff, which made it a pretty versatile weapon. And with this new perk coming to the weapon, it's just going to make the time to kill even faster. So so we might be seeing the Razorback a little bit more next season, depending on like what other buffs and changes we do see in the main game. But the new attachment is going to be a perk called Rapid Fire. And in the beta, the only way you can actually unlock this at the moment is by getting two headshots in one game 20 separate times. So the minimum amount of matches that you'll have to play to unlock this attachment is 20. And like I said, you have to get two attachments in each of those games, which we ended up doing. And as you guys can see above me right here, you'll see it says minus 10% fire interval and i was kind of curious on what this actually meant so i was testing it out a little bit versus the base version of the razorback and from what i understand every 30 shots it is going to be shooting three extra which basically means every 10 shots you take with this version of the razorback you're going to be able to shoot one extra as opposed to the razorback without the rapid fire attachment which of course is going to decrease the time to kill and make this weapon even better so we're going to be showing this off a little bit this is the rest of the loadout that we are going to be rocking here on the weapon this isn't like the best loadout that you can put on the Razorback, but this is just what I feel comfortable with here on the device that I'm playing on. So if you guys want to go ahead and copy this, here's the blueprint. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop on into the new game mode grind. And it looks like we're going to be just in time to get one match done here. So we'll go ahead and queue on in. But for those of you who don't know what grind is, of course, it is a game mode coming soon to the global edition of the game in the next season 13 update. It's going to be an LTM, but it's like a twist on kill confirmed in the sense where when you do eliminate opponents, they are going to drop a dog tag, but then you have to take the dog tag over to the bank, which is exactly what this player was trying to do before I took him out. So we actually got the kill and we were able to steal the deposit as well. So it's a really fun game mode that could definitely be intense because you can stack up on a whole bunch of tags up to 20. So imagine you just kill somebody who had like five on them. You get stacked. You have six, seven, and then someone like eliminates you right by the, the bank. It, it could really cause for like some fun matches. So definitely going to be a fun ltm once it is released into the game that being said though let's see what we can go ahead and do in this particular matchup dude we're kind of popping off with the razorback a little bit i know my movement still needs to be improved a little bit here on the phone but i've been having a really good time playing on the device if you guys didn't see yesterday's stream we did play uh on the xperia 5 for about two hours and uh, it was definitely a blast there we go getting a deposit down of four tags I hear we got some opponents near. I'm looking around for them. There we go. There's one. And I will say, even with the increased fire rate, the Razorback is still an absolute beam. Not very difficult to control, and it's definitely feeling like a solid weapon at the moment. Got two more players in mid, but one behind us. Able to take out one? Yo, if I'm actually going to be able to get away, that'd be insane. I'm going to throw this down, just because I know this guy's going to try to push. Nice. Let me reload the Razorback because there's still more. Actually, it sounds like they're mid. I was right. That guy came in and popped me, bro. He's going to get a lot of dog tags for his squad, but I think this game is pretty much over. We joined a little bit late, which means we might actually have time for one more matchup here, depending on how quickly we can end this. This has been a lot of fun, dude. I'm enjoying the Razorback. It feels solid. And again, I'm not necessarily on my native device, so I could only imagine once I'm on the iPad, I'll feel like I'm shredding even more with it. Got a player coming around this way. Sounded him from like a mile away. We'll go ahead and get that deposit down. We got more coming in. I heard something. Oh, that's going to go ahead and do it there for that game. Yeah, so that might have been quick enough that we can actually hop on into another one. But I've actually really been enjoying the grind mode here in the beta. Of course, we got some peacekeepers in this lobby, bro. That's going to be like the most deadly weapon next season. I think the MP7 is going to be a really good mobile SMG. But the peacekeeper, it's going to be like the new HVK. So stay on the lookout for that. All right, please let us get past this screen fast. With two minutes to spare, yes, we can go ahead and hop back on into the game. So this is definitely going to be our last grind matchup. Oh my gosh. Dude, I joined into a game and I'm just getting spawn trapped. Gotta try to like break out from this. There we go. That was a huge kill to get. Nice. Go ahead and grab that tag. And then this guy was stacked with only one other tag, but you know what? I'll take that. Not sure exactly what that's doing over there, but uh, all good. We'll start making our way here towards the B bank. Nobody looks like they're defending it. If a, an opponent's in yellow, that could be deadly though. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just try to grab some stuff. Okay, let's call him the UAV. Got a lot of deposits down. Yeah, we definitely have players over here in yellow. Trying to slay him out with the Razorback. Are they, are they still underneath me? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna flank him. Double kill. And the third just hanging out for the triple. Love to see it. Again, the Razorback feels really good. Like, the, the recoil isn't necessarily even increased, although the fire rate is. So that's a good thing to see. I think this is going to be a solid, like I had mentioned, very versatile weapon. Sort of like a, an SMG AR type hybrid gun to use. Which is good because that's what it was sort of meant to be. Looks like the real players are finally all here in game. So we're going to have ourselves quite the matchup. Going to have to be really careful about the fights we take at range and stuff. Nice. I love being able to like sound players and hear them from all over the place. We got footsteps near. Here we go. Got ourselves a UAV. We'll go ahead and toss that up. Oh, and I got the gravity vortex gun. Go ahead and call it in. And everybody should be right over here. Give me that. That's a double. Keep it coming. That should be able to be a deposit for our team. There we go, dude. I don't know how many I just deposited, but that was a lot. Enemies are going to start running over here in a second. Oh. Oh my gosh. I think there's more around me. Yeah, they're definitely coming in here. Got an EMP. We'll go ahead and blast them. And all is quiet. Yep. We got an advanced UAV. Let's go ahead and call that into the sky. This game's going our way, dude. Things are looking real good for us. Those guys are just sitting by the, the bushes. All right, being able to take that out. Big kill to get. Got some opponents mid. Just getting some spray shots down. I can't even see them. Later. Taki Zombie. Interesting name. Y'all like Takis? Pretty good snack. Hashtag not an ad, though. Let's get this flank going. Oh, yo, I just dropped so many tags. I didn't see that guy over there. Got beamed, yeah, by the Peacekeeper. That's why I felt so insta. That was kind of nutty, dude. The time to kill on that thing's crazy, especially with the right attachments. They're gonna try to deposit their tags. Come on. There we go. I think they actually got a couple down, but we stopped them just in time that we could probably win off of one or two more deposits. Our teammate over here grabbed a lot of those. That guy's at the, the dumpster. Go ahead and push him. Oh, did our teammate just die trying to deposit? I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and throw the Vortex gun right over there so I can stop anybody pushing. Awesome. And we'll go ahead and deposit our one tag that we do have. Oh, enemies are coming back. I hear him. Player on half wall getting headshot. And we're just going to play our UAV. Get some more players close. I hear him. Nice. Teammates slaying him out, actually. So many footsteps near. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I'm really getting a feel for this Razorback now. I feel like I'm shredding with it. Oh, that guy's right behind me. Oh my god! I don't know what gun he was using, but he just got melted. I think we have an opponent behind us. Noah from flank coming in hot. Oh, and right before I got the kill there, saved by the bell. That was a fun matchup, man. So, of course, that is going to be an LTN that we have to look forward to seeing in uh, the next couple of updates. But the Razorback with the fire rate buff definitely felt solid to me. Again, can't wait to use it on my iPad and really get a feel for it in ranked games especially. But I think it's going to be a super good option for players that want to use a more versatile weapon instead of like a submachine gun that's only good up close. Of course, it is going to be tough to beat that Peacekeeper, but, uh, you know... We'll have to see once the game actually gets the update. I just wanted to make this video to tell you all not to sleep on the Razorback because it's going to be a very fun weapon to use. So thank you all so much for tuning in here to today's video. I really do appreciate you guys watching the beta content. I hope you all been enjoying. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any other stuff that you want to see me use here in the beta. Of course, a few of these attachments that you need to unlock do require a little bit of grinding, so I'll have to do that. Uh, the next one I might try to grind for is the Kilo Bolt Action because it's actually going to have incendiary rounds now.
now as far as I know. So that would be a really cool video to record for all of you guys. But uh, thank you all so much for all the constant support. That's going to go ahead and do it here for myself and I'll catch you all in the next one.